Thanks for joining us tonight. We are learning more tonight about the assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump at a Pennsylvania rally today. Witnesses say they tried to point out the rooftop shooter to officers before shots rang out and injured the former president. Gunfire killed a person attending that rally and critically injured two others. Lauren Linder has more. Take a look at what happened. Secret Service agents rushed former President Donald Trump off stage after shots were fired. Moments after he began speaking at a Saturday evening rally in Butler County, Pennsylvania. The Secret Service says a man attending the rally was killed. A doctor standing nearby tried to help him performing CPR. The guy had spun around was jammed between the benches. He had a headshot here. Trump raised his fist as he left the stage. On his Truth Social site, the former president said he was shot by a bullet that pierced the upper part of his right ear. I knew immediately that something was wrong and that I heard a whizzing sound, shots, and immediately felt the bullet ripping through the skin, he wrote. Much bleeding took place, so I realized then what was happening. I just hear these four shots and everybody screaming drop and you can see the blood like splatter on his face and the Secret Service just barricades him. The Secret Service says the gunman was outside the cordoned off area of the rally, standing on an elevated structure, and that he was shot and killed by a member of the agency's counter assault team. A large number of Secret Service agents is in Milwaukee right now ahead of the convention. They're trying to piece together what happened here in Butler. President Biden spoke a couple hours after the shooting. There's no place in America for this kind of violence. It's sick. It's sick. It's one of the reasons why we have to unite this country. We cannot allow for this to be happening. We cannot be like this. We cannot condone this. This was Trump's last rally ahead of next week's Republican convention in Milwaukee. He was taken away in a motorcade and again held up his fist as he got into his SUV. Lauren Linder, Butler County, Pennsylvania. Some papers, including USA Today, have identified the gunman as 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks of Bethel Park, Pennsylvania. They say he was planted on a roof of a manufacturing plant more than 130 yards away from the stage at the farm showgrounds. The Secret Service is now adding more manpower to expand security at the Republican National Convention, and the FBI is now the lead agency handling this investigation. California's largest wildfire entered its second week in Santa Barbara County. The lake fire broke out more than a week ago near Zappa Lake. It's burned more than 37,800 acres. It is split into two, a north and south zone. Containment stands at 19%, and CAL FIRE says a fifth firefighter has been injured. U.S. Forest Service reports more than 3,000 personnel are battling the flames, and two fire camps are set up. More than 2,000 people are under evacuation warnings and orders. This is the latest evacuation map.